Integral Yoga of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother. Part 2. Humanity is currently passing through the mental stage of evolution. For this reason, Integral Yoga begins with the utilization of the powers of the soul in the mind. Through an awakening aspiration for a greater perfection, mind has the ability to stand back observe and correct itself. It can distinguish the observing self from what is being observed. The static awareness from all the movements inside or outside. Usually our attention is wandering upon external things There is a random and inert subjection to the impacts of external contacts. By shifting attention inward, we can observe the movements of our surface consciousness. For this, the power of concentration is required. Close observation can reveal the entangled workings of mental, vital and physical energies often at odds with each other. Movements of the lower layers can confuse the functions of the higher layers. Mind is not material in essence but in the human body, it operates primarily through the brain, a material organ. Because of this, our mind is dependent on the body's healthy functioning. The consciousness of the physical is habitual, inert and passive. Also, it disperses energy. When the physical dominates, the mind gets dispersed through useless, scattered and habitual movements of thoughts. When the vital energy dominates the mind, thoughts and imaginations get driven by attractions, repulsions and impulses of the vital. Consciousness of the vital generally lives in its emotional drama. Fantasies of greatness desires and fears. The physical dominating the vital causes habitual cycles of these movements. By developing the power of self-observation we can distinguish different parts of our psychological makeup. Our intelligence and will can be made free by a constant rejection of habits and impulses arising from below. As our mind gets increasingly free, its power of concentration also increases. They go together as two sides of one movement. This process of vigilant rejection liberates the intelligence and will of our mental being from the domination of our lower nature. The result is a more individualized mental being capable of differentiating itself
from the collective being. This is still a developmental stage of the mental ego, the surface person. The true person, our psychic being, is behind the veil. Discovering our psychic being is accomplished by the triple movements of aspiration, rejection, and surrender. At our inmost center is the psychic being, secretly guiding our evolution, awaiting discovery. Behind the frontal waves of emotions, our psychic being revealed itself as a gentle response and preference for all that is true, good and beautiful. But this gentle response gets lost in the flux of surface consciousness. Our identification with mental chatter veils the messages coming from the emerging psychic being. Therefore, it is necessary to establish silence and peace in our surface consciousness. There is a zone of silence and vast peace above the head. By opening to this region by concentration above the head, silence and peace descend into the instrumental nature. The descending silence and peace settles and establishes calm equanimity in the whole system. Then, communication from the inner guide becomes clear and steady. The more we follow this inner call, the more the inner guide reveals As the inner guidance becomes steady, all movements of our thoughts, emotions and actions are to be offered for the inner sanction. Consecration of knowledge, will and love thus form the triple movements of practice opening the inner doors. This inward journey into the depth of our heart opens the subliminal ranges of our consciousness. There are vast inner physical, inner vital, inner mental ranges of consciousness within. Yoga opens these inner doors. As we follow the inner guidance the psychic presence grows and eventually we enter the world of a profoundly sacred psychic being. Our outer person gladly merges with the psychic being. This inner union brings a reversal of consciousness. The psychic being comes forward to govern the evolutionary transformation.
This is the process of psychic transformation. Bringing realization of the Divine Presence growing within as well as all around. Guiding all. If psychic transformation is a change that emerges from within, spiritual transformation is a change that comes by a descent of higher consciousness from above. These two transformations support and complete each other. A wide upward opening to what is above the head opens the doors for divine peace, light, knowledge, power and bliss to descend from above, which transforms the lower nature. The divine force descending works its way downward from top to bottom, opening all the centers of consciousness. When it reaches the lowest, the physical center, it awakens the divine force asleep in matter, the Kundalini which then awakens and rises upward and our center of consciousness rises above the body. The sense of a separate self, the ego, completely dissolves. Consciousness widens to impersonal and spiritual ranges of the mind. This wider self has two aspects, the static and the dynamic. The static aspect is the silent self of wide peace and freedom. Unaffected by any action or experience. The silent self does not originate any action. Instead, it stands back detached and impartial. This is often mistaken for the final liberation, but it is a static liberation and freedom without any mastery over the cosmic action. There is also a dynamic aspect experienced as cosmic self or spirit which not only supports, but also originates and contains the cosmic action. Opening to this dynamic aspect gives us greater powers of cognition, creative action and delight. The Integral Yoga 
unites both static and dynamic aspects of the self above. In the active, dynamic condition of the body, the force descends from above and acts through the individual in the world with the psychic being as a support below. This leads to the spiritual transformation of the whole being. The transformation gradually takes place through a series of ascending and descending movements of consciousness. There are seven distinct planes of cosmic existence. Three planes form the upper hemisphere of Sachidananda, the triune existence, consciousness and bliss beyond space and time. And the lower hemisphere is formed by the three planes of mental, vital and physical worlds in time and space. Between the two hemispheres is a supermind linking both. It is the Mahas of Vijnana of the Vedic Rishis. The supermind is the creative power that builds the worlds. First, it creates the world of pure archetypes. Then, forms the worlds of mental ideas. Then, the vital worlds of dynamic life force. And finally, the physical world and its material condensations. But all the higher planes are involved in it. All the involved planes create a pressure within matter to evolve. Evolution is the unfolding and emergence of these higher planes within the domain of matter. This is supported by the descending force from the planes above. A yogi can consciously ascend to the higher planes. But such an ascent does not transform the human nature. Only when the dynamic powers of the higher planes descends with the psychic being as a support from below, the mental, vital and physical parts of being undergo transformation. The physical is the most resistant to change. This is where the entire evolutionary past of life on earth is stored. As obscure cellular memory bound by habits of disease and death. In the process of ascent, the intermediate ranges of the mind above descend and transform our lower nature. First is the higher mind 
which transforms our step-by-step -step linear thought process into mass ideation. Second is the Illumine mind, which sees the truth directly without thought. Third is the Intuitive mind, where knowledge comes by identity and is infallible, although limited. And the fourth is Overmind, the highest spiritual range of the mind, in which consciousness is universal, and all is known, but from a limited perspective. But even the descent of the Overmind consciousness is not enough to transform the obscure resistance of the body consciousness. We have to go beyond Overmind. and enter the supermind where reality is no more diversity moving towards unity but unity embracing diversity in the infinity of our being the power of triple time vision trikala drishti seeing the past present and future arrives at its perfection Knowledge and will move together upon the foundation of oneness. Only the descent of the supermind into the universalized human instrument can successfully transform the obscure consciousness of the physical nature. It is the final transformation leading to a divine life. eventually the birth of a new species on earth. It is a radical proposition that has never been attempted in the past. Thus the integral yoga goes beyond the individual liberation and embarks upon a collective and evolutionary transformation on earth. After Sri Aurobindo's passing, the mother continued their work. And on February 29, 1956, she brought down the supramental consciousness upon earth. Since then, the supermind has been operational on earth as an active evolutionary power. A new phase of evolution has begun amidst the collapse of the old world. Integral Yoga is an invitation to take part in an unprecedented adventure of consciousness. Here is a visual representation of the two hemispheres of divine manifestation according to the writings of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother, created by Madhu Sulbi, triple transformation dot ca.
let's rejoice because the absurd insanity we are experiencing is forcing more and more people to awaken. However, we must have compassion for those who are incapable of awakening because the injections have created a separation from the individual soul. The only way out of the matrix is absolute non-compliance. The CBDCs will make it impossible to function in the system. I'm not interested in survival, which leads to inevitable death. I choose to live at all costs. I'm absolutely certain that the courageous ones must choose to get out of the matrix completely by November 2023. Please view the many videos I created on the time wave spirals. I was blessed because my jail experience forced me to leave Canada and what appeared to be a perfect life as a very successful dentist and mother of two wonderful children. One needs great courage to jump into the complete unknown but it is an absolute necessity in this evolutionary crisis. Today, I'm in a position to assist individuals who choose life. Just two kilometers from our farm, I discovered a small development. One can purchase a lot of a thousand meters square and a three bedroom house for 60,000 US at today's rate of exchange. While your home is under construction, you can start developing the agriculture of such a inchi nut, avocados, pineapple, yucca, papaya, bananas, citrus fruit, and a vegetable garden. One can raise chickens and other small animals. A long-term stay at Pescata Café Tiro is $300 US per month. I also offer dentistry, including complex full mouth reconstruction at a cost of 35% of European and North American prices. The global prison planet is being dismantled, and we have the honor of witnessing this. I conclude by encouraging you to continue your inner evolution despite the current world scenario, which can seem worrying when we forget that the divine is behind everything and that the supernatural world is at our doorstep. Please share my videos. Infinite love.